Well, the Welsh Grand National is the next race then, and we've lost the first half of the card, so you can see the runners going through. We'll try and pick them up as best we can on the way around. It's a shame when these things happen, especially when it's a big race, and I'm sure we'll be able to pick out who's who during the two circuits or so that they've got to take. They've been called in, and away they go. With Little Green Bag, one of the first to show. And reality check, the two Ryan Talasebi horses both up there to the fore as they come past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits of the Chepstow trap to go. And towards the back, you can see Plague Runner in the green and the yellow hoops. That's one of Craig Allen's. And they sort of themselves out now in Little Green Bag. And reality check have been headed by Pondering Poet. So Pondering Poet of a Grand Clubs box in the lead then. Jim Murray's got Lord Butt on the inside. That one is now taking a dispute of the lead as well. Behind them, the grey Carisolo Limerick in the turquoise and maroon hoops of the yellow cap as they finally get to the first fence. They're all safely over the first with the back marker now shamed our phantom. I think that's Thomas Rogers. And one just in front of that one is probably going to be one of James Shays. I think that's probably um, Compact Bonnie. So they're making their way then towards the second of the fences. This is the first ditch. And over that, we've lost one there, we've lost Robin Knight, so Robin Knight has gone at that one, that I think will be Craig Beckwith there, so that one's out of the race, and Lord Butt's in the lead, so Lord Butt leads it then for Little Green back in second, Pondering Poet is third, then Reality Check is heading the main group as they get over number three, they've all got over that one okay, but a bit of a mistake by the grey Carisolo Limerick, who's closest to us. And Lord Butt has now gone on into the lead from Little Green Bag second, Pondering Poet third, right over on the far side, Lady Matilda, the second of the Jim Murray horses, and a mistake right at the back there by Flashpoint, one of the Leon Van Rensburg horses. So a couple of the big stables making mistakes already then, as they make their way down towards the next fence. This is the fifth of the 22. And over that one they all go, and they're all safely over that one with Lord Butt in the lead and Little Green back second. Pondering Poet is third and Lady Matilda is four. Then playing running down on this near side is five with Deck Castanet and Empire Canther, largely for the National, is after that one as we change angles again. And uh, Lord Butt is the leader right over on the rail from Little Green back second. And um, Pondering Poet third. Then Lady Matilda, reality check. With Mary Cassatt. Also, they're making a bit of a move in the middle of the pack. Well, they're pretty tightly grouped. And constantly changing angles as well, which isn't helping a lot as they get down towards the next. And they're all over that one. With Bucco now, the back marker in the red rum colours. But Lord Butt is the leader. So Lord Butt's the leader and he's gone on by about four now. To Little Green back in second. Lady Matilda is third. Reality Check is fourth. Then Plague Runner and Pondering Poet and Pyracantha. And then Mary Cassatt, Carisolo Limerick. And Deck Castanea. After that one. As they make their way to the seventh. And over that one they all go with... Now white rum the grey in the purple jacket, the new back marker, as they get over that ditch, and they'll safely over that one as well. Still a long way to go though. Now, no need to panic the leader. He's only about 20 lengths clear of the back marker, probably not even that far. So as they get to the ninth then, over that one they all go with Lord Butt in the lead and reality check and Little Green Bag, the two stable companions, second and third. Then Plague Runner is fourth with Lady Matilda five. Pondering Poets just dropped back a bit as they get over that next one. Another mistake there on this near side by a Leon Van Rensburg horse. This is the other one, Eyes of the World, that made the mistake, but there's a long way to go, as we said. And we're coming down towards the water now, which they all get over nicely. And unfortunately, I think that that has not been fixed, and that is going to be the final fence on the next circuit, which will be yet another disappointment to what really should be a showpiece race, which has been a bit sort of messed about by not having a card and being run on a course that isn't accurate because you would not have or you do not have the water jump as a final fence and quite why we're using that I don't know anyway Lord Butts in the lead I'll stop complaining and Lady Matilda second Little Green Bag is third then Plague Runner is fourth Flashpoint is next then Deck Castanera and Pyracantha Pondering Poet and Reality Check then Mary Cassatt Bucco is getting a little bit closer Safin has Josie getting the first mention then uh, Carisola Limerick Sunday Mott is after that as they get over number 12 and we're all safely over that one as well with Lord Butler clear leader 
by about three lengths to Plague Runner has moved through into second. Flashpoint, who was right out the back earlier on, has now moved through into third as they get to that ditch. All safely over that one as well, and Sheila Citron is now the new back marker. But they're still pretty closely grouped. Uh, Lord Butt is the leader by about three to Stablemate. Lady Matilda second, a mistake there by Plague Runner. Seen that one just drop back into the pack a little bit and surrender third place to the two Clutterbuck horses, Pondering Poet and Pyracanthus. Safanaz Josie's creeping into it now as well on the inside as they get over that one. Mistake there on the inside was by Reality Checker. Seen that one start to shuffle back as well. So the jump is letting one or two of these down at the moment as they race down towards the final mile they're coming down towards the next fence this is the 16th and over that one they go and we're looking at that one the one that made a mistake this time was white run right out the back but it's lord but who's still in the lead but in the lead all the way from stable mate lady matilda on the inside in second then comes pondering poet and deck castanera and then as josie pyracantha bucko is getting closer as well then plague want to put the kettle on getting a mention then Mary Cassatt and Shamadal Phantom. Reality checks after that. Little Green Bags lost its place. Carisolo Limerick is next. Then a gap back to Eyes of the World. And Flashpoint is now suddenly dropped right out of it again. Then Five Star and Sheila Citron. White Rum largely for the National and Sunday Mott. So one or two of these running extraordinary races at the moment as they come down towards the 17th, which they all get over nicely. And Lord Butt is in the lead. Bucko has moved through into second. Put the Ketlons now suddenly come from nowhere to take over second as well. But none of them can get past Lord Butt yet. Lord Butt's in the lead. From Put the Ketlon. Now Plague Runner record for that mistake. He's getting back into it. So too his little green bag. Bucko's next. Then Lady Matilda and Shamad Alphansom. Then Deck Castaner. Going down towards the 18th then. And over that one they go. And it's Lord Butt now being challenged by Plague Runner. Plague Runner's taking it up. Plague Runner lands in the lead there. But Lord Butt immediately fights back. As they're now racing down towards the final three fences in the Welsh Nationalist. Lord Butt in the lead from Plague Runner on the outside. Bit of a gap back to put the kettle on and Shamadal out Phantom over the third. Last they go. Coming out of the pack now Safanaz Josie is beginning to run on as well. But they've got two to jump and it's Plague Runner in the lead from Lord Butt in the lead. It's Plague Runner over the second last in the lead. Lord Butt makes a mistake down on his nose. Here comes put the kettle on. Little Green Bags trying to run through as well. But it's Plague Runner coming down towards the final fence then now. And it's Plague Runner who's clear by four being chased by Little Green Bag over the final Final fence they go, and now Plague Runner being collared by Little Green Bag. Little Green Bag on the inside, Plague Runner on the outside. Little Green Bag and Plague Runner in a ding dong battle up the straight. But it's Little Green Bag who's taking it up, running on well in Shamad Al Phantom and Safanas Josie. But it's Little Green Bag who looks like he's going to take the Welsh National. And up towards the line, it's Little Green Bag that takes it from Plague Runner in second. Safanas Josie was third, and then Shamad Al Phantom put the kettle on. Lady Matilda was after that one. Eyes of the World and Sunday Mott both dropped out at the end. and unseated their riders but it was a strained race from start, start to finish that one and Little Green Bag takes it from Ryan Tamasebi and there is the Little Green Bag the winner for Ryan Tamasebi Plague Runner for Craig Allen was second Safanaz Josie for David Robertson was third Shemadal Phantom for Thomas Rogers fourth and Put the Kettle On for David Hooley was fifth